author, professional speaker, and personal coach, James Robolata is back. Motivational speaker and author, James Robolata. James is the author of Leading Imperfectly. James, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Please join me in welcoming James Robolata. So good to see you today. Thank you so much for having me. I know you didn't have a choice. I feel like we should get to know each other a little bit more. I feel like a natural place to start is to tell you how I eat pancakes. I want my audience to feel like we're hanging out together. We could be in our living room. We could be in a diner booth. We just happen to be in a conference room. I'm born and raised in New York. I married a woman from Minnesota. Now, if you've never been to either place, those are two different cultures. Minnesotans are some of the nicest people that I have ever met. They're truly beautiful. In New York, we start sentences off with, listen, no disrespect. <laughs> the ability to riff with the audience and be like, who knows this? Who's got that? I like my pancakes equally and adequately soaked with butter and syrup. Where are my people who soak their pancakes in butter and syrup? Where you at? There you go, friend. I see you. I see you. All right, that's what's up. Where are my people who vehemently disagree with me? That's awesome. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Everybody else look around. These people are wrong. <laughs> I've been doing improv since 2004. I've been doing stand-up for a really long time. So I bring a natural humor, a natural comedy swagger to the stage. And I use it as a tool to just get people to feel like, oh, we're all hanging out. This is cool. If tomorrow I told you I want you to put your toothpaste on your toothbrush in the opposite direction. And then if I told you I need you to brush your tooth, your tooth, I assume you have more. Maybe your teeth too. Well, the other day I got in the shower. Don't picture any of this, by the way. <laughs> I get my audiences laughing, let them know I got it. And as soon as they get comfortable, I sucker punch them in the feels. Because as soon as your walls are down, that's when I can sneak a message in. <laughs> We write people's stories before we've ever even heard them. We do this all the time, and the reason why we do it is because assuming is easier than learning. Just because it's easier doesn't mean it's right. When you make the decision to care, you show up. Curiosity is a choice, and it is a choice that we have to make. Because that's how we learn, that's how we grow. We live in a world that's more interested in being right than what is right. Committing to creating a community where people advocate for each other takes curiosity because it takes learning about what you don't know. And when is the last time you listened like you might be wrong? Try to create workspaces where people care about each other, where people show up for each other, where people ask questions of each other so that they know that they are seen, heard, and respected. Curiosity is powerful because curiosity creates community. He was amazing. I've seen a lot of keynote presentations. This was by far one of the best. I think he really, really hit on a lot of great points on communication and getting to know people and how to do it effectively. Really enjoyed hearing James speak all that he said and his truthfulness and being able to bring some wonderful life stories to us. There are some strategies and some thought processes that allowed me to feel more comfortable and confident. And it gave me the permission to do so, but then also some tools to do so. He was amazing and has the conference chair. I'm very excited to have somebody that gets the room up off their feet, gets very excited about being here and tells their stories because we want to make sure at our conferences we all hear other people's stories and we can relate to each other. I think associations are longing to figure out ways to connect individuals throughout their entire meeting and having this one as your opening keynote it immediately sets the tone for we're here to learn from each other laugh with each other, and just also make each other feel a little less crazy in the work we have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm gonna end on a quote because that's what professional speakers are carefully trained to do. Thank you. Appreciate you. As you can tell, I'm very funny. <laughs>